Wow, welcome back, or welcome. You may have just clicked on this random, on this video randomly, to some more Sonic 1. Now, we move on to Spring Yard Zone, which has literally no achievements, not in any of the acts. It's literally just a dash to the end. And we need 50 rings to get the emeralds. So, start getting some rings, man. What are we waiting for? Uh, the ring, getting rings in this zone is very easy as long as you avoid these, like, buzz bombers, I think they're called. So this rip-off fake Sonic's gonna hit us here, but uh, I don't really care. Like I said before, rings are very easy to get in this zone. Touch controls, no! Please tell me that response. What is with me? Oh, that that was a previous recording, and of course, of course. Should I just restart? I'm just gonna restart. He uses life, but I don't care. I have four. Might, might as well use them. No, 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 no. We're gonna forget about that death. You know, yeah. Four minus one equals two. That makes sense. I totally didn't die, die to the most basic enemy, guys. The freaking bombers, man. I just want to get chaos emeralds. Stop bullying me. No! Alright. Hopefully, the touch controls don't screw me this time. They. That was more on me, not the controls. I screw this up, I'll be so mad. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Why? Why? Th 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 that was so delayed! That was so delayed, though! I tried to get those rings. Hey, look, guys. 4 minus 1 equals 1. Spawning at the freaking checkpoint. Like, that's so useless. Why would you do that? I want to restart because I want to restart, not to just spawn in the middle of the freaking zone. It's a waste. Why? Why? I've never... Is it because I'm recording? Maybe that's why. My jump button is not working. Why? Why is it not... I think it's because I'm recording. Then... Well, something... Yeah, I've never had problems with this. Like, I've played it on iPhone. A lot, and I've never had this problem. I'm, I think it's because I'm boring. But then again, when I did those like really cringy last plays, this never happened, so I don't know. Anyways, there's a ring box down here. I have 45. Ring boxes give me 10. So why? Why does it? Why does it do that?
I had to make sure I hit the ring. And this wasn't happening in part one either. We're gonna go to less annoying class. There you will learn how to be less annoying. And you also go to physics class as well. Might as well, because you don't know physics either. Because these physics and these special stages suck. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Give me that green chaos emerald. Come on. You know you want to. Yes. Yes. Alright, one more left and we can't collect chaos emeralds anymore because of achievement in Scrap Brain Zone. Christian, you have some explaining to do. Okay, what the hell is this? Sonic! Sonic! Stop having fun with the bouncers and just... Please, for the love of God, just get up there. I'm on 50 rings. I have 48. Two rings is not much to ask for. And I did not even press jump that time. It, I think it's literally because I'm recording. Why? I was holding down! Oh my God! No way! It's, it's, it has to be because I'm recording. Because I have problems with... Sonic 4 as well. With the opening cutscene in that game, so it has to be to sit that. But this has never happened before. Like, literally never. It didn't register my jump there. Or my right input. There's, there's no rings. Oh, well. I didn't even press jump that time. I don't. I'm not pressing jump, I swear. Nah, that's fine. There's like a really easy one to get. That too. As long as I don't get hit. 
I can spin dash just fine, but when I try to do anything else, it just doesn't. It just doesn't want to register inputs, and it just does inputs randomly. And again, I tried recording Sonic 4, but same, not a similar issue. It didn't. Whenever I recorded when the intro cutscene with Sonic um, flying the tornado played, it just was a black screen, and whenever I turned off the recorder, it would just play the cutscene, and I don't know. I don't know. Holy crap. You have to register my inputs. Game. And by the way, guys, this is not an issue with the actual game. The actual game is great. It's just that I'm recording that I'm experiencing issues. That's the only reason why this is happening. So don't fault the game for this. It's just the recording thing I'm doing. Messing with the game. So just... Again, I can spin dash just fine, but when you want to jump, it just doesn't. Sometimes. Well, I guess this let's bully be memed after all because of my freaking recording software messing with the touch controls. Give me speed. I think there's a spring there in Sonic Classic Heroes, if I remember correctly. Or maybe not. Sonic Classic Heroes, another great ROM hack of Sonic 1 and 2. Well, this isn't a ROM hack, but it's, it's, a, it's a remaster slash port slash remake. And these are going really slow for some reason. You are lucky you placed a platform here, Christian, because if you didn't, I would have gone ape. I would just freaking lost it. Okay, but how do I get back up? One life. my AD inputs correctly. I held the jump button and it did a tap tap. I can okay. So those walls aren't in the original version, but because of the widescreen. Widescreen aspect ratio is has to have those walls. I'm just quiet. I just I I exhausted all my dialogue. And now that I've died a game over, I just have nothing to say. So 
See, look at my, my A button's working perfectly now. But then it screwed me on that platform. Why are you... I'm literally pressing buttons! Holy crap! Holy crap! I... Why? I was pressing buttons there, I promise! It just did not register any inputs for some reason. Move. Holy crap! The ranch is your Like Jesus, just register the inputs. And again, it's not the game, it's the recording software. Because I know it affects the game because of the intro cutscene in Sonic 4, because I was trying to do a let's play that. But then for some reason now it's just screwing me over in Sonic 1. And like I said, I did like a cringy let's play that I deleted of Sonic 1, and it never did this. It never did this. I swear to God, I swear, if the input glitch just made me die there, then I would have been so peeved. Let's call it the input registration glitch. Now there's two achievements in Labyrinth. I have to look them up. Hold on. So, um, this is being post commentated because my freaking audio didn't record and I'm a I'm and I'm not about to uh re re record part of the game. Um So yeah. This is Labyrinth Zone, and hopefully I can provide better commentary than in the, uh, original uh, recording. But yeah, this is the only time this will be post-commentated, I'll never post-commentate ever again. So, we need- so we have to get an achievement here. It's called, um... It's, a. Uh, it's like you have to board, uh, like, a secret, um, pathway. Um, p secret platform, I mean. And, uh, the reason why the audio didn't record is because it was different recording, and, um, I just forgot to turn the microphone on. So, yeah. And that spikes. I think I'll spike something that spikes the resistance in this game. Um, so, I foolishly hit this, um, this uh, button here, which is not where you're supposed to, um, so you can actually see me uh, restart because I know that's not what I was supposed to. I I try I try to go back, but it didn't quite work. So now, now it's time for the death montage of um, me screwing up badly because that's what you're that's what you can see. Not death montage, but just a restart montage, honestly. The same beginning 15 seconds over and over again. Um. So, also, additionally, while I was doing research for this achievement, I also did research for the scrap brain achievement, and it turns out that it doesn't require you to have five chaos emeralds. You can actually collect all six for them. Basically, it was the hidden transporter in Labyrinth Zone, and I thought, well, 
there's a cutscene, not in that episode, in uh, Scrap Rain Zone. So I'm like, oh, there's a cutscene that takes you to Act 3. But if you go through the special stage, then it must skip the cutscene. Because there would be no cutscene to play. So that must be the hidden transporter. I was, um... I was wrong. Because there's actually two hidden transporters. The special stage transporter. And this completely separate one that also requires 50 rings. Thanks, Christian Whitehead. Anyways. See ya. Yeah, so. This is finally where I'm like, okay, I have to hit this. And then I have to. So that little enemy stressed me out, and I missed the jump because of that. Um, so I just restarted. So now I'm on my last leg. I'm at one life. I really can't screw this up now. I'm abusing the spin dash, which is only in the remasters. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people say Labyrinth Zone is the worst stage in Sonic 1. I disagree. I think, I think Marvel Zone is worse. Um, because in the Labyrinth Zone, at least you actually get to, like, go fast. Well, not fast, but you get to keep moving. But there's many times in Labyrinth Zone where you just have to stop moving. Over here, as long as you're not going through the, any of the achievements, then, um, basically, yeah, as long as you're not going through any of the achievements, you could just, you know, go through it very quickly. But since I'm trying to do achievements and I'm screwing up badly, that's bad. So, um, that sucks. So, I, from now on, from this Let's Play onward, I want to set unrealistic goals. If this, if any of the Sonic 1 videos gets 10,000 likes, then I will do Sonic 06. Also, nice glitchy jump there. Anyways, this is the achievement right here, this stupid little platform. This is it. I'm not joking. This slow ass tiny platform was the achievement. Why do I do these things to myself? Anyways, yeah, but, you know, unrealistic goal, but 10,000 likes, I'll buy Sonic 06 for the Xbox 360. Play that. I know. The reason why I'm setting this goal is because I know it'll never happen. My my channel's unpopular as freak. I didn't have 50 rings. But we, um, but, um, Labyrinth, Labyrinth, uh, Act 2's, um, Chaos Emerald is free as all hell. Now, it may seem like a regular Labyrinth Act at first. However, it gets crazy right now. Well, not crazy, but better. So here we can pop, uh, I was about to say pop the spark box for invincibility, but I died there, which I completely forgot about. I swear, some random fan is gonna make, like, a death montage of this and just upload to their channel. I'm, you know, I'm fine with you doing that if you want to do that, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with doing that, it's just humiliating for me. It's fine, you can do it though. I won't like copyright strike you or anything like that. It'll just be humiliating, that's it. So 
So the reason why Labyrinth Zone's Chaos Emerald is free is because you get a shield here, but that's not all. You get so many ring boxes. That's one ring box, two ring boxes, three ring boxes, and four ring boxes. And as you see, some rings are just flying around. There, there's more than ten. Meaning you get 50 in that section alone. And then you get invincibility. Like, it's like they're handing out chaos emeralds here. Because they basically are. And you know what? It doesn't even matter if the invincibility runs out before you reach the goal. You have the shield anyways from earlier. No, I lost it stupidly there. So, this guy, you want to duck. Right because if you don't duck, there's no way to dodge that guy. Your jumps are too floaty to, like, land on the ground fast. So, as you see here, I, you know, I got... I'm getting just a little cocky. I'm trying to go for uh, 100 rings to get that nice one up. And I'm teabagging. You can see the 5 come up there, but I got it just in the time. Um. Damn. One up. So, and that's the end. 100 rings. Special stage. Anyways, here goes the fifth special stage. Um, we're starting off here like a... Uh, already me struggling. <laughs> um, God, I wish I remembered to record my name. But, hey, it's fine. At least I won't be quiet during the spell stages, because I usually get quiet. But now I, I don't have to be. Gotta continue there. That's what the sound meant, by the way, if you still didn't know after all this time. Um, if you get 50 rings in the special stage, you get continue. And if you get, um, 100, you'll get a 1-up. I just got to continue, and that's it. I didn't bother with the 1-up. the jingle, I like the little sonic icon, I just like everything about continues. Anyways. A little bit of lag there for me, I don't know if that lag was on your guys' side, but yeah. So, there's two little platforms here, that switch is required to progress, but I, didn't, I do not hit it. Instead, I'm going after um, this other platform. You can see it there, in that item monitor. So, yeah, they gave us a shield. And we have a jackpot of rings there, but it doesn't matter because we're on Act 3 and you can't collect chaos in more than Act 3. I wish you could. Now, um, there's this really talent. I, uh, t I talked about this before in the Spring Yard section. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I talked about it in the Spring Yard section. But there's a, a hack called Sonic Classic Heroes. Um, its hacker is Flamewing. And one of the things that Flamewing actually considered adding was special stages during Act 3. Which will be Godsend. And if that was a feature, then that'll make Classic Heroes 
the superior version of Sonic 1. Not 2, though. The mobile versions of 2 can they still be classic heroes, but... But if he did add that, then it would definitely be better than this. Because not only does classic hero have the spend dash, it also has the insta shield. And it allows you to play as all three characters at once. So I'm here, I'm here to play for bubble. It's not widescreen though. And it uses the old physics engine. So I guess in that fact that the mobile players will still be superior. But he also did talk about taking the physics engine from these uh, ports and putting them into classic heroes and if he did do that along with the special stage in the on act 3 that will make it the the de facto way to play sonic 1 like easily So we're gonna head up here, and these and the water's gonna rise and raise up these like little things. I don't know what you would call them, platforms. Yeah, but like they look like sponges, and I guess they're supposed to be plugs. Anyways, we're coming up to the boss here in our next achievement, which is not get hit at all during the boss. And this boss is not traditional. It's not a traditional boss because it's actually just a chase sequence with our robotnik. You can hit him if you want, but it's not required. See, I'm waiting for that thing to shoot because I want the achievement. I know what happens, but I'm not gonna spoil it. And I beat it on my first try. Yay. I flipped out when that when this happened. Anyway, that concludes it for this episode. Um So yeah. Hope you enjoyed. And tomorrow we're going on to Starlight and uh Scrap Brain. And and additionally the final uh, boss because you know that's part of scrap brain but you know I went here to like show you the uh, achievement screen to show you I'm like not bluffing um it's like yes there is actually achievements it's not just something that I made up so here's sonic 1 and, um, Ring King, Ramp Ring Acrobatic, Secret of Labyrinth Zone, Flawless Pursuit. Be clear the Labyrinth Zone boss without getting hurt. Yeah, that's what I just achieved. But, again, it has that little lock symbol because the achievements in this, in, on iPhone are so glitchy. So, anyways, goodbye. I will see you tomorrow. To, um, an interesting ep episode of, uh, Sonic 1. I'm actually recording this after I did the final boss and 100% the game. I mean, I know what happens, but you don't. So I'll see you then, and I want to see your reactions. Goodbye.